वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज असम न्यूज स्टोरी फ्रॉम इथियोपिया फर्स्टली अमहारा रीजन वेयर डजन फाइटर्स आर्म फाइटर्स हैव सरेंडर्ड दे हैव हैंडेड ओवर देयर वेपन पिक्चर्स आर बिंग शेयर्ड इट हैपन आफ्टर मीडिएशन बाय लोक रिलीजियस एल्डर्स secondly a security forces uh, in a press briefing in a statement a few hours ago uh, showed weapons recovered from fano fighters uh, weapons recovered in volo and thirdly shiva viewers where ethiopian federal security forces ethiopian army launched an operation yesterday we uh, saw clashes near majate near shiva robert now alarming developments are being reported from shiva where an attempt is being made to arm locals firstly viewers uh, according to amhara region state media dozens of uh, fighters have surrendered they have handed over their weapons to security forces in the amhara region while we're seeing escalating clashes between amhara fano militia members and security forces especially uh, ethiopian army regional government claims that dozens of fighters have surrendered after mediation uh, by local religious elders Ago is uh, an ethnic group living in the Amhara region of Ethiopia for years they have been complaining of marginalization that they were marginalized in the Amhara region they live in Amhara region uh, in uh, uh, Ago Avi zone uh, near Gondar Uh, then they live on Tigray, Amhara border to Kemets or Agos to, and we know that several Ago uh, political parties, uh, Ago armed groups, they have been accusing the Amhara regional government of discrimination, of marginalisation, uh, and some of these uh, groups are based. in sudan as ago avi zone is on sudan ethiopia border and we know that ethiopian uh, amhara regional government has been in talks with some ago groups to uh, sign a peace deal with them now in ago avi zone uh, javi warada some ago fighters have handed over their weapons it is being claimed by amhara region state media javi warada ago avi zone 118 armed fighters have surrendered their weapons uh, being confirmed by regional government uh, zonal government it happened after mediation by religious elders like uh, uh, pastor megabi adis who is from this zone Uh, he appeared on state media he said uh, he and others mediated and peace deal has been signed between ago fighters and amhara regional government so at a crucial time when amhara fano fighters are fighting and the security forces are trying to crush amhara uh, uprising uh, in the region Ago fighters are making peace with the government. Ago Shingo, uh, Ago Liberation Front, a few weeks ago denied reports of any involvement in talks with the government, with Amhara Regional Government. The denial came after Amhara Regional President uh, at uh, a speech. During a speech, uh, the Parliament said that his government was in touch. in talks with ago fighters but these ago fighters have said from which group are these ago fighters it's not clear uh, but uh, state media has shown their pictures videos they have handed over their weapons to regional government secondly viewers uh, north volo from where uh, according to Ethiopian state media large quantity of weapons has been recovered by 
Ethiopian army. The weapons were stored there by Fano fighters. Uh, we have seen uh, clashes between Fano fighters and Ethiopian security forces in Volo recently and uh, three days ago uh, Ethiopian federal forces launched an operation in Kobo. House to house searches were carried out. Yemere uh, Vodajo's house was raided. Several members of his family were arrested. Vodajo could not be arrested. Ethiopian government accuses uh, Vodajo and uh, Balati Shigao of the assassination of Gabon Shitila. Uh, the weapons have been recovered from North Volo from, a, from an area which is situated to the west of Kobo, Kobo Robit. Kakulesh is the name of the zone. Uh, to the west of Kobo, Kobo Robit, where security forces uh, reached uh, a place where weapons were stored by Fano fighters. You can see uh, some pictures on your screen. The pictures show weapons recovered by security forces from Takulish. Uh, in North Volo, we are seeing that uh, Fano fighters are losing ground. I mean, they uh, fled towards uh, Gondar reportedly. Arms are being recovered from uh, North Volo and uh, Vodajo's house raided. Vodajo is nowhere to be seen. So Volo Fano uh, is taking a serious hit it seems. Uh, where will Vano, uh, Volo Fano fighters go? Because uh, we have not seen large number of uh, Volo Fano fighters surrender so far. Security forces could not arrest large number of Fano fighters in Volo. So where are they? Only weapons recovered. Where are East Amhara Fano fighters? Uh, have they been captured? Have they been killed? Have they been wounded? No details shared by the government. I mean, they are there. They might be heading towards Gondar, heading towards uh, Gojam, heading towards Sheva to continue their armed resistance, it seems. Lastly, viewers, Sheva uh, zone, North Shore zone of the Amhara region. Yesterday, we saw start of a major operation against Fano fighters in Shoa. Uh, in Shoa, the killing of Girma Shitila happened. Uh, who was allegedly killed by Shoa Fano, led by Brat Shigao and Mere Vodajo. That is why we saw start, start of an operation in Shova. Uh, conflicting reports are uh, coming in about what is happening in Shova. Uh, we saw pictures uh, showing some houses damaged. Security forces are using uh, mortars uh, and other ZU-23-2 anti-aircraft guns. Fano fighters are armed too. Uh, they are fighting in forests. Uh, they have. Uh, they're trying to establish camps in mountains. Uh, so far, it's difficult to say what is happening in Shova. Uh, Amhara news sources claim that uh, Ethiopian army has suffered a setback there, uh, but Ethiopian army is silent. So we have no credible information from the ground. Credible information is that an attempt is being made to arm locals in Shoa, which is an alarming development. Reportedly, ethnic Amharas in Shoa could be armed. At least an attempt is being made to arm local Amhara population in Shoa. If it happens, it will have serious consequences because we have seen clashes between local Amharas and Romos in Shoa. That is why I yesterday said that Shoa is very sensitive, uh, roaming a special zone as well because of ethnic tensions between the two groups living there, Romos and Amharas. So if ethnic Amharas are armed by pro-Fano groups, it could lead to confrontation not only between local ethnic Amharas and security forces, but also between local ethnic Amharas and ethnic Romos. The entire zone could be destabilized. Uh, Fano fighters, they, their strategy is to involve the people. Uh, we saw that in Gondar, we saw that in Volo, same is Shoa. They want people in large numbers to join Fano. They want locals in large numbers to confront Ethiopian security forces. 
they know perhaps that this is the strategy which might work that is why we're seeing that uh, an attempt is being made to uh, motivate locals to join fano fighters or to remain armed and to confront ethiopian security forces from kobo we saw that security forces had to retreat after they conducted house to house searches they raided mere vodajo's house people protested reportedly people stand people stood up to ethiopian uh, national defense force in and near kobo security forces then had to retreat from kobo kobo wulia road uh, was open same is being tried in shoa uh, though in shoa romos live in large number to in oromia special as well let's see what happens so far it's a volatile situation we cannot say that the ethiopian security forces have cleared shoa uh, since the start of this new operation against fano we have not seen any large scale arrests of fano fighters by security forces how many have been arrested how many have been killed any main commander is arrested by the government forces so far no that is why it's difficult to say the uh, future outcome of this operation in amhara will have to wait take watching